Hello, peoples. This is Sonic Sandy Three Two, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Two bonus content. So yeah, I know it's been like 20 years since I made the last one, and I am really sorry for that. But I have been severely busy with school, other projects that Kingdom Hearts Two has just been on the back of my mind, and also I am kind of sick of this game because I've been playing it so many times. <coughs> so either way, last time we left off, we took out some more organization members. I forgot who, because it was like 20 years since the last time we did that. And well, we, could, we will continue taking out more of the data organization members, starting off with Axel. So Axel could probably be a really annoying organization member to take on. For one thing, this fight is way more harder than this fight when you were rock, with Rockus. Well, I mean, this time is that Axel now has many status abilities. The one ability he will be using all the time is Burn. So if you saw before, at the start of the fight, Axel engulfed the entire floor in flames. When you do that, no matter whether you're on the ground or in this or in the air, you will take damage from that. So the the first thing you should probably worry about with Axel is doing that reaction command every time he disappears into the flames and he charges at you. Press triangle and then you'll do reaction command where Axel will make the make the floor well get unfired and that did not just make sense. But yeah, he will do that and then you essentially just wail on him. Other than that, Axel is he's a douche. That's really that's he's a penis. That's literally the only way I could describe him. This guy could be the bane of your existence, and I am probably not demonstrating how to fight Axel effectively. Well, what for one thing, you probably want to keep your health high enough. Like right there. You see, there we go. And yeah, you might want to keep your health really high and your MP perfect because you want you want to be dealing a lot of ending combos to him because it deals the most damage. So there we go. Just like that, yeah. And also, I do recommend entering limit form whenever your health is low or your MP is low because limit form does ridiculous damage. I mean, look at this. Eh, booyah. Wait, no. Oh! Oh, that was awesome. And time to get that aerial combo. Oh, man, I just love limit form so much. Limit form will be your salvation in these fights. It is unbelievable how useful limit form is. And gonna get the aerial combo again. Booyah. Nice. And just like that, limit form is gone. <sighs> Crap. Alright, either way though, Axel is almost dead. So in the beginning, I kind of just get, like, what's it called? If I, when, when I was recording the fight Axel, it took me God knows how many attempts to fight him. That this attempt, I was just like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go on with this fight. Whatever happens, happens. I really just do not even care anymore. And, well, let's just say I beat him. And, yep, just like that. Just do Ash Command. And, yep, if you just repeat that process over and over again, and when, you, when you're when you really careful whenever he goes to uh, floor and flames, you could really take out Axel with little to no problems. I mean, it's only a problem whenever you're not patient. Because patience is basically the key to being Axel. That is really the only way I can see it. Also, sometimes when he enters the flames, he will just charge right toward you and do that attack. I recommend being really careful and just getting the reaction man when you're ready. And sadly, though, we can't berserk him, so that will have to do. Ow. Oh, crap. But yeah, other than that, that's really Axel in a nutshell. I mean, he's already almost dead. I mean, that really just goes to show how much a piece of cake Axel could be. But that's only if you're patient. If you are not patient and you just charge guns a-blazing or keyblade a-blazing, you essentially just guaranteed yourself, well, instant death. Just do that. Like that. Get ready for the um, rash command. And Axel is essentially almost dead. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and just like that, the... Ball kickery kick kicked in. Booyah! And oh, he stabbed him right in the penis. Ow. Oh, right in the balls. Oh, crap. Either way, just like that, Axel's, well, life and his, well, manlyhood is taken away because we just stabbed him in the balls. But, yep, Axel's defeated. I mean, I hope that fight, I, I hope my fight with him is pretty much enough clarity so you guys don't really have a problem with beating him. Got the magic boost. And now moving on to the second organization member, we got Zexian. You know that one guy that has the book and the emo hair? But yeah, now we got to take on him. So Zexion, unlike his uh, absence of the wet fight this time around, is annoying. Yeah, he's just annoying. So yeah, this guy will do everything in his power to keep to make you and your allies get into the books. So my main strategy with you is just have a full MP bar and doing finishing combos on him. Because it just, it, it, lock, it basically gets him out of the combo like that. He misses. Oh, he got goofy. No, that's right. Booyah. And just, yep. Yeah, well, you, you get caught in the book anyway. So, yeah, when you get caught in the book, 
first thing you should probably do, find Zexian's book, because if you do not do that, he will attack you non-stop, and that is essentially your entire health bar gone. So yep, I found him like that. All I gotta do is just get ready. Booyah. And, nope, there we go. And just beat the crap out of him. Booyah. Oh man, but Zexian, like I said before, his fight could be really easy if you know what to do, but if you're like me and where luck is just against you everywhere you go, this fight could just take a while. Okay, I don't recommend doing a large combo him. Like I don't I really do not recommend berserking berserk horizontal slashing him. Because if you do that, he will break out of that combo. And yes, he will do that a lot where he will lock your commands. So get ready for, to rapidly press triangle and find something that either says unlock or retrieve. Because you will see seeing that a lot. And also, yes, he do, he does that little explosion a little bit, and it's really annoying. But yeah, like I said, like I was saying before, I do not recommend horizontal, uh, horiz berserk horizontal slashing him because it, it could be useful, but he breaks out of the combo relatively easily. So that's one thing I would not do. And booyah! But for this case, though, I have to do it because I do not have a, my MP bar is not really restored. So I was able to get two. Um, health bars off of him and just like that I am screwed but oh crap and you see you see oh man just like that retreat there we go and look at this look at this that health oh crap all right come on there we go come on just like that come on Chris you got this and nope he does this again unlock or unlock yeah Alright, come on. He's almost there. Just got getting out of the book. There we go. Wait, how come I didn't how come I didn't press triangle? Past me, why didn't you do that? Oh, either way. There we go. It will at least get a large chunk of his health gone. Oof, I love you limit form so much. I just love limit form. Look at his health. He's already almost dead. I mean he's past halfway. That's at least the positive part. And you see what I mean? You see what and there we go. This thing again. So yeah, rules still apply. You know, if you don't get inside the circle that isn't work with that, you will get pelted by meteors. Like me, and if you're like me, you will clutch this and just barely survive. So I survived just barely, and now I can just wail on Zexian because I found this book because this guy's a moron, and booyah. And now I gotta go for the horizontal um, berserk slash again because, yeah, this life just hates me and you know made me reuse the, uh, um... Ah, uh, the thing. So yeah, um, just repeatedly do this again, and you see, unlock. Think. Wait, no, why I do? Ah, crap. Okay, come on, Chris, you got this. Just get inside the circle that has the. Oh, just barely made it. And now horizontal slash the crap out of Zexian because this douchebag almost killed me again. And meh, crap. There we go. Okay, and now I believe Zexion will almost be defeated. Hopefully, please. And why did I do that? Why did I do that? Really? Chris, just why? And you see, he does this again. So yeah, when Zexion is almost dead, he will do this a lot. So, yeah, get... No, and just like that game, pelted by me. But on the bright side, my MP bar is fully um, restored, so I could easily just recover all right, come on, come on, he's almost dead, and booyah. Now, horizontal slash the crap off him. You know, if I can't kill him with this, I can at least severely damage him. And, nope, look at his health bar is almost dead. But Jesus Christ, this guy just keeps doing this. Unlock, there we go. No, no, again with this, again. Crap, okay. Now... If I am lucky, I will get this on my next chance. And, oh, just barely made it. And, sadly, Goofy and... No, oh, Goofy, they both made it in. Holy crap, Goofy and Donald made it in. Nice. My teammates aren't incompetent. Yes. Okay, and, booyah. Now, time to end Zexion. With that, one last combo, and booyah. Explosion. <coughs> and, just like that, Zexion is dead. And, Goofy is randomly spinning into... Well, nothing, essentially. Ah, Goofy. Yeah, you'll learn someday. Just just someday. And just like that, our second organization member for the video is taken out. Zexion is done forever. Now, I kind of forgot who's the next guy we fight. Oh, yeah, this guy. Now, 
Hey guys, remember Zaldin? You know that douchebag that we fought in Beast Castle? Well, yeah, we gotta find him again. And this time, he is way more harder and way more annoying, unlike last time, and holy crap. Okay. So, Zexian's fight, if you thought Axel's fight, you have to be patient. You have not seen Zexian's. Not uh, Zexian. Um, ah, crap. What was this guy's name again? Zaldin. Crap, Zaldin. Ah, crap. I called this guy Zexian before I met Zaldin. So, yeah. For Zaldin... You have to rely on the jump reash command. You have to rely on that. So I recommend you wait until Zaldin attacks you for the reaction command. Press triangle ASAP and then just attack him like that. And just do whatever you can to deal, to deal damage on him. That is really the only strategy I have for Zaldin. Just be patient, get the jump ability, and then use it ASAP and just attack him. Horizontal slash the crap out of him. Do that finishing combo. Whatever you it takes for you to beat him, just do it. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Zaldin is just annoying this time. Way more annoying this time around. Like, he was annoying before, but this time it it's just super annoying. It is just... Oh, I crap. Okay. So, now, yeah, with this time... With this one, just... Th fly away... And then just try to avoid getting hit by him. And then when he touches down, wait about a few seconds. And then jump. Uh, unless he does that. And I am screwed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh ho, 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 crap. Alright, that just... um. Okay, so that, that, that... I just got lucky right there. Not even lucky. That was just... Yeah, that was just pure luck right there. And now Horizontal Slash the Crab. Yeah, Horizontal Slash Berserk is honestly one of your best bets for this fight. Because, you know, it deals a lot of damage and it, it's effective. And, yeah, just trying to get hit by that Aerial Blast. Otherwise, your, your health is going to be gone within seconds. Gotta get that Reash Command. Yeah. Crap. Okay. I, I survived. I survived. Yeah. Okay, and it's doing nothing, apparently. Oh, there we go. Okay. At least we're able to get some. All right, let me just send this text quickly. All right, yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, just had to send this text pretty quickly. It's kind of important. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. And now we are apparently in limit form. I have, I think I was just doing that because I need the health restore and also the MP restore because I, I was essentially bow in that moment. And you see what I mean, just like... Ah, oh, crap. This again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <coughs> okay. And just like that, just gotta do this again. Unless, yup, I, I didn't wait. I, I didn't wait, crap. So, yeah, one thing you might want to do is always that whenever he's done with that, you know, that combo where he just re really jumps at you. If I were you, wait about a few seconds because after that, he has, like, super armor. Like I don't know how he got, I don't know how he gets super armor, but he just gets it somehow. So it takes him. Also, I recommend just blocking those things because apparently I discovered that it's really simple, actually. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Ah, crap. Okay, I I just screwed myself over right there. Oh, I just gotta wait again. And why did I do that? <sighs> oh, oh, crap! The jukes. And now, just like that, got that combo. Done. Woo! And I actually lived. And now he's doing this. See, so yeah, at this combo, if you remember before, he does all those fancy schmancy moves, and then he just rides on the thing like a snake. So I recommend having a full, you know, <laughs> a full bar of um, MP, and then right when he does that, reflega the crap out of it, because you will live. And just like that, yep, he, that's, that's done. So yeah, just avoid Zaldin now. And then, yep, now he starts teleporting, apparently, and it's really annoying. And just learn... Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, and also for that, wait a while, because every time he does that, he steps back a little bit. And then when you jump at him, it just... He, he, he dodges it like that, you see? Ugh. It's like with Zaldan, you have to develop a strategy as you're fighting. Like, you know, it's something that does, doesn't come out... Like, it's not obvious. You have to develop the strategy as you're fighting Zaldan. Which makes him annoying for some, but, you know, it's... It, it, it's a good fight. Like, you know, I can't lie. I, I like fighting Zaldin like this. And crap, my phone is ringing. But how come it's like this? Hey, 
Oh wait, that's my iPad ringing. That's right. Oh, whatever. I'll just I'll leave him on. You know, like uh, I'll just I'll I won't answer the call. I'm recording right now. I shouldn't be doing this. Okay. Yep. Just gonna close my phone. Okay, that should be. Yep. That just ended the call. Okay. And he keeps doing that. Ah, stupid. I might need that MP to either. Okay, there we go. Alright, and Reflega. Ah, so satisfying, you know, actually living. Okay, now what is he going to do? He's going to do this again. Ah, of course. Yeah, I also recommend blocking him because, you know, when you block him, it kind of just like, it, it lowers the health. And I, it, it doesn't lower the health. It lowers how much health he does, and apparently I blocked him, which I didn't even know what I did back, back there, but I blocked him apparently. And, yeah, he's he just stu he's staggered back there. I don't know what I did. I was kind of surprised when I was fighting him myself, but, you know, I did something right. And whatever I did right, it, it, it benefited me, sort of, even though I didn't really take advantage of it. Now begins this. Okay, so, man, jump. Jump again. Jump for a third time, and berserk. Okay, that's how you do it right. That is how you do things right. Okay, phew. I mean, so far things are going pretty good with this fight. You know, I'm not screwing up big time. Oh, wait, what is he going to do? Oh, there we go. Got him. All right. Horiz I can't horizontal slash crap. Oh, crap. Couldn't berserk him, but whatever. Need the heal. Okay. <coughs> oh, crap. Yeah, I I'm not really fit for recording right now. As you can see, my cough is still going on. But, you know, it's it's gotten better. My cough has gotten better. So, yeah. Um, uh, just keep going on with this fight. Do the repeat thing. Okay, I don't need I'm out of stuff to say. I am out of stuff to say right now. This fight has just been going on for like the past 10 minutes. And right now, I, I just don't even know. And why I do that? Ah, that was it. Oh. Oh, you, you, you crap. No, 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 no. Oh, and anti-form. Yup, I had to get anti-form right in the middle of this fight. Only my luck. Ah, it's just great. But guys, you are going to see just how hard I clutch this fight with this form. One thing I recommend, if you ever get this anti-form when fighting Zaldin, just rapidly combo him like that. Because if you rapidly combo him like that, you stay in midair and he cannot attack you. This is amazing. Just look at this. Look at the rest of this fight. See, rapidly if you rapidly attack Zaldin, he cannot attack you. And also, the more attacks you land, the faster your um, the meter drains for anti-form. So just keep doing this fight. Just keep doing the fight like this if you ever get stuck with anti form. And trust me, your time with this will be essentially a cakewalk. Just keep doing this strategy and you will live. I was clutching it right here. My balls were in pain. I was like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. And I was, uh, well, I, I clutched it and I, I felt really good about myself. I felt amazing. Uh, okay. Uh, just, you know, just keep doing that. Get your, um, uh, just get your meter to drain as quickly as possible. And he missed. He missed me. I was like, oh, thank God. But, yeah, just keep doing it. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Come on, sorry. Just keep attacking him. And, yep, I had to pause it for a second there. I think I had to take a call. I think I had to go take a piss. I don't know what I was doing. And the meter is gone. Just heal myself ASAP right there. I was like, I, I actually did it. I actually did it. <laughs> I, I felt so accomplished. I mean, it's probably nothing to feel accomplished with right now when, you know, you do something like that because, you know, in real life, no one really gives a crap when you do that. But for me, I was, I, I was just amazed. I was like, I actually clutched it. <coughs> but yeah, um, I lived... And my MP just restored right there as I needed it to. Thank you, MP, so much. And just going to do that. All right. Now time to finish off Zaldin once and for all. All right. Come on. Past me. You got this. Okay. Not going to jump yet. Not going to jump yet. There we go. And crap. He does this again, of course. Oh, man. I, I, I was like, oh, come on. Really? Okay, there we go. Got the high potion, though. All right. Now we just wait until he, you know, breathes. Whatever. I think this is air or just a... Uh, I think it's just air. Yeah, breathe there. 
He's done. He's going to come back down. And then we will get that finishing combo on him after all. Okay, just dodge him like crazy. Come on. Almost there. Crap, this guy is not dead yet. Come on. Lunge it. There we go. There, that, there it is. Come on. The finishing combo is about to be delivered. And booyah. He is dead. A 10-minute fight. And he is dead. Phew. And you saw that clutch, guys. You guys saw that clutch. That was amazing. But the up is all in his dead. We never have to fight him again unless they bring him back in Kingdom Hearts 3. But at this point, I kind of lost interest in Kingdom Hearts 3. Because we've seen nothing for like how long. And yup, he is dead. And that ends this video of Kingdom Hearts 2 bonus content. So stay tuned next week as we take out more organization members. And end it once and for all. So peace out, peoples. And a bra